Hello guys, how are you? Can you hear me? Me escuchan? Yes, we can. Yay, perfect. <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> thank you. Oh, for thank it. you. Good evening. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? Good evening. Very good, Hi, thank Wendy. you. How are you, Wendy? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Doing great. Happy because it's Friday. <laughs> we are almost done with this module, guys. You have three more classes tonight and Monday and Tuesday, and you're you are done with this. <laughs> um, yeah. So to begin with tonight's class, we're gonna start with a random conversation topic, right? So for this one, there is this is this is a personal question. Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert and why? Do you consider yourself introvert person or an extrovert person and why? When me? It's all me. Quería participar con el la intención. Obvio, no. Eh, Kai, no. Uh, I introvert was. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Cuando no tengo confianza. When I don't have trust. When I don't have trust. Trust. Uh -huh. Trust. And I trust. I, I have trust. Very friendly and. Speak, speak, speak. <laughs> talkative. Talkative. Yeah. Talkative. 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 Mm. All and right. A new, uh, I, I know a new person, a new people, mm -hmm. and or group, or new group. Uh, I try. I, I a little shy. Okay. Because uh, I, I know um so much. no danger no no not no, comfortable no que no me van a hacer como daño no, no me van a That's, hacer sentir mal uh, oh Eso. you worry <laughs> but this is you worry hurt. you worry not to get hurt mm -hmm. you worry not to get hurt you, le preocupa no salir no no ser herida verdad yes mm -hmm. yes and I, I don't worry, uh, worry, <laughs> wor wor worry, uh -huh. worry, worry, uh -huh. I, I don't worry, no, no get hurt, mm -hmm. I, I talk, talk, what? <laughs> <laughs> you become targeted. Talk, talk, well, talk. Very talk good. Talk. So you are. A little bit of both, a little conservative, a little introvert, and a little extrovert. After you yeah. meet the the people, okay, that's nice. Who else? Let me hear you guys. Do you consider yourself introverts or extroverts, and why? I consider teacher. In my case, I I don't know if the term mid term applied for that question. Okay. Because it's something like when they say uh, depends when I know the people I can be friendly and talkative and, <laughs> talkative and look pretty happy mm -hmm. but uh, when I don't know the people I look like serious maybe okay you know yeah i think there is a, there is always a medium point right between the two um and then there are people that are the extremes right the extreme opposites for example my father my father is really extrovert but like he really is an extrovert it doesn't matter where he is where we go he always talks to people even if he doesn't know them he talks to people and he has mm -hmm. an obsession he has an obsession with telling jokes <laughs> he always likes to tell jokes to people. Yeah, so yeah, there are, there are many people that that are that 
Mm -hmm. They go to the extremes. <laughs> okay, let me hear. Thank you for sharing, honey. Let me hear you guys. Who else wants to share? Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert and why? Let's see. I, I consider myself extrovert because <laughs> I, I really like talk with anyone. And, and you're very confident also. <laughs> Yes, because for me every topic is good, and and I think this is is a is is a good is a good way to make a friends or or if I in another country I I I'm confident with myself and talk to everyone and and ask for some address or or something like that or something like that I don't know even in my in my job. Uh, for me, it's very, it's very important that uh, you be extroverted person because you need to talk with all people all the day, and and that's all. Mm, that's interesting because your personality is perfect for the job. Then, <laughs> yes, yes, because I have meetings uh, all weekends and. And I need to talk with persons. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, I always I always thought that an extroverted person was someone that wanted attention and everything. But no, in reality, <laughs> no. an extrovert. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's the thing. In reality, an extrovert, it's a person that likes to talk to everyone. That's yes. the thing, right? That they enjoy talking to people. <laughs> yes. And then an introvert, it's like the opposite right like they don't like to talk too much for example I have a student in another class that if you ask her a question she starts doing this she starts like and she looks everywhere and it takes like five minutes for her to give me an answer she and she's the only student it's a private class <laughs> so, so it's, I'm telling you, I see both extremes. It's a special student. It's a, spe <laughs> a special level of introvert. Le level God. Exactly, God level. <laughs> what about you, Manuel? Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert and why? Do you like to talk to people or you don't like to talk to people, Manuel? Well, then sometimes, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Everybody. <laughs> um, uh, sometimes I, I like I like to be introvert. Uh, in, in different uh, situations, uh, I talk with, with uh, other, other people, but I, I I talk with my only people I I know. Uh, uh, so like, you're like, more an introvert. <laughs> like uh, friends, uh, co-workers, um, that. <laughs> <laughs> only uh, people that are uh, in your space, yes. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Hey, I see you got your glasses. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're good. They're good, Manuel. <laughs> Tatiana, <Yeah>. please. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I think when I start a new job, for example, I'm very, I'm shy. But uh, when it, when the time is, when the time pass, and I and I get trust, <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> I'm a very extroverted person. <laughs> I cannot imagine you being introverted. You know? <laughs> yes, but at, at the beginning, I, I'm i very quiet and shy, but after I I I always uh, talk and talk and talk and everybody, hey, Tatiana, quiet, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, something like that happened to my sister one time. Um, she met my sister is nine years younger than me so one time she met one of my best friends so much my, my best friend she's like also like nine or ten years older than my sister right and my sister she talks 
she talks even when she's sleeping she, she's talking um and then my friend started talking to me right and like like after half an hour after 30 minutes my friend told me can you tell your sister to shut up she never stops talking I, and she told me my jaw hurts hasta la mandíbula <laughs> even my jaw hurts she speaks so much <laughs> so yeah you can imagine that you know, what they tell you when you speak a lot <laughs> yes and that, it's not a problem it's not a problem exactly but, yes Manuel. <laughs> but when i when i get trust <laughs> that's I when you start stop. talking <laughs> thank you for sharing and anna raquel anna tell us do you consider yourself you're an introvert or do you consider you're an extrovert or in between? I consider myself an um, introvert because I I, I speak, uh, I talk a little and, and I prefer it. Well, usually I concentrate, I, I concentrate a, a quiet um, a bit on some activity that I, I do in, in a specific time. So you prefer silence, Anna? <laughs> yes. Silence and peace. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing, everyone. Okay. So listen. Tonight we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about the definite article, right? So what is the definite article? Who can tell me? What's yeah. the Exactly, yes, Anna. <laughs> that is the definite article. That or if you are if you are American, they say the the the. You can it will it will sound in whichever way. So I'm gonna share the screen with you guys. Let me know when you're seeing it. Yes. Okay, so we have yeah. the definite article that right. Um, we're going to be reading three different levels in this part, because in each level, you see different uses. So let's begin, let's begin with level uh, beginner. Um, I need one, two, I need, I need three readers for this level, three readers. Okay, Jorge, help me with the introduction and in this part, the first one. Manuel, you're going to read from This Is Why until this part. And Chrissy, you're going to read because until the end, okay? So let's begin, please. Hold on. The definite article, D. Learn how to use the different article, D, and do some exercise to practice in using it. Level beginner. The definite article, D, is the most frequent word in English, we use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe the listener, reader knows exactly what we are to reference to. Because there is only one. The pop is visiting Russia, Russia. The moon is very bright tonight. Who is the president of France? Thank you. So, yes, and this part is true. The word the. It's the most frequently used in English. Sometimes we use it even when we don't need it, <laughs> which is why we have to review the point exactly when we use, when we have to use it and when we don't need to use it, right? So we have the first scenario when we have to use it, when there is only one, for example, the Pope. There is only one Pope on planet Earth, right? So hay un Papa en el planeta Tierra. So we can use the definite article then because everyone will know we are talking about the same person, the Pope, right? Also for things like stars, the moon, right? The moon, there are not more moons that we know when we speak in Spanish or in any language, the moon is the one we all see, right? So we can use the article the. And then who is the president of France, okay? It's a valid question because it's only one president, right? So when there is only one of that category or one of that thing or person, you use the definite article, the, right? So 
and this is we can we can look the opposite part if there was if there were one pope for each country si hubiera un papa por cada país ya no podríamos usar the pope tendríamos que decir um, who is who is the who is a pope in this country who is a pope for this country right if it's only one in this case we use the a definite article okay let's begin manuel please this is why we use the definite article with a superlative adjective he is the tallest boy in the class it is the oldest building in the town because there is only one in that context. Mm -hmm. Continue. Continue. Yeah. Okay. We live in a in a small house next to the church. The church is on is in our village. Dad, can I borrow the car? a car that belongs to our family. When we stayed at my grandmother's house, we went to the beach every day, the beach near my grandmother's house. Look at the boy over there, the boy I am pointing at. Very good, thank you. So again, it's telling you, right? We use it, the definite article with a superlative adjective, right? Si se fijan en comparatives and superlatives, cuando hablamos de comparatives no ocupamos el, el artículo de, pero cuando hablamos de superlatives, todos los superlativos, todos los superlativos llevan el artículo de antes de él. ¿Cuáles son los superlativos? El último, el más más de cualquier adjetivo, right? For example, tall, alto. Taller es el comparativo. Si se fijan, taller no lleva ningún artículo. Pero el superlativo, the tallest, si sí lleva el artículo the, right? Todos los superlativos llevan este artículo. Porque se refiere a que es el único, el más más, el único en ese, right? So, for all superlatives, we use the article the. Si yo no lo ocupo, por ejemplo, yo dijera, I am oldest in my house. Eso está mal. Yo no puedo decir I am oldest. Tengo que decir, I am the oldest. Soy la mayor en casa. I am the oldest in my house. All right? And so on and so forth. Siempre que ocupen superlativos, asegúrense de que pongan el artículo D. No en comparativos, solo en superlativos. Let's continue, please. Um, Cristina, please. Okay. Because we have already mentioned, mentioned it. A young man got a nasty shock when he tried to rob a jewelry shop in, Rick, in Richmond. The man used a heavy hammer to smash the windows in the, in the shop. Uh, we also use the definite article to say something about all the things referred to by a noun. Uh, the wolf is the wolf? is not really a dangerous the wolf is not really a dangerous animal wolves are not really dangerous animals the kangaroo is not is found only in australia kangaroos are found only in australia the heart pumps blood around the body heart pump blood around bodies bodies we use the definite articles in this way to talk about musical instruments Joe plays the piano really well. She is learning the guitar to refer to a system or service. How long does it take on the train? I hear it the radio. You should tell the police. Okay, so it's telling us. Thank you, Christian. It's telling us. If we have already mentioned a uh, proper noun or the name of something, we don't necessarily have to repeat it. We can use the definite article to refer to that person. For example, a young man got a nasty shock when he tried. Okay, la oración empezó con a young man y cuenta toda la historia. En la siguiente oración, no necesito repetirlo. A young man used a heavy. Si estoy hablando de la misma persona de la primera oración, 
puedo iniciar las siguientes oraciones con el de definite article y el sujeto. Ok. The man. All right. Because it's already mentioned. You don't have to repeat it in every sentence. Ok. That's another scenario. And then you have, when we also use the definite article to say something about all the things referred to by a noun. Es decir, todas las cosas o miembros incluidos dentro de un noun. Por ejemplo, el lobo se refiere a todos los lobos, right? En ese caso, puedo utilizar un definite article. Ok, lo mismo con los canguros. Cuando dice el canguro se encuentra en Australia, se puede ocupar ese definite article para referirse a todos los canguros de las categorías, right? So we can use it in that also. And then it tells you, when you're talking about musical instruments, you can always use definite article. I play the violin, my brother plays the piano, my sister plays the guitar, so on, right? And the last scenario, it says to refer to a system or service, okay? Um, where do you take the bus? Where is the bus stop, right? So any service or system, we can use the article, the, the definite article to use it, okay? So we're gonna try to make sentences. Um, right now, I want you to make two sentences in which you begin with this part. To use with, you begin with the article the, Y que sea para cosas que todo el mundo conoce, right? El papa, la luna, el cielo, anything like that, right? Right, two sentences. En este escenario donde solo lo ocupamos para hablar de algo general, algo que todos conocemos. You have two minutes. If you have your two sentences ready, let me hear them, please. Jorge. Uh, the World Cup starts in November, and my favorite team is Brazil. Okay. The Christmas is the best time of the year. All right. So two things that are general. Everybody knows about the World Cup or the Christmas season, right? Very good. Jorge. Thank you. Christian, please. The airport is so far. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the, pair, the pair of shoes is expensive. Perfect. If you notice, Christia said the airport. In If we were in another country, she would have said, for example, the LAX airport, an example. But in this case, she didn't even mention the name of the airport because we only have one and it's general, right? Very good, Christia. Uh, Manuel, please. Uh, Euskatlan Stadium is located in San Salvador. Uh -huh. The library is near to my house. Very good, when I general points. Very good, thank you. Wendy, please. Mm, 
The sun is beautiful. Mm -hmm. God is the king of kings. All right. Very good. Well, yes, Wendy. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to make sentences using the next one with superlatives. You're going to make two sentences using superlatives. Okay. Sylvia says the stars are in the sky. Perfect, Sylvia. That is correct. Okay, so make two sentences right now using superlatives, please. I'll give you two minutes. All right, Christian, let me hear them. Um, the, the house of my boyfriend is a bigger than my house. Oh, but that's a comparative. We need a superlative. Ah, uh, okay. You, you, you did it correctly though. <laughs> you used it the right way. Hold here, please. Einstein is the most brilliant physician that I heard. All right. Mm -hmm. Jordan was the best player in basketball. Correct. The best, the most superlatives. <laughs> Thank you, Jorge. Christian, you ready? I'm thinking. Okay. The biggest mistake I make in my life is eating after 7 p.m. <laughs> Manuel, please. Okay, my grandmother is the oldest of my parents. Mm -hmm. This house is the biggest in the neighborhood. Perfect, <laughs> very well. So now you will not forget for superlatives, you will always use the definite article the, right? Let me hear the sentences for the others, please. Where are your sentences, everyone else? These are with superlatives. Miss, in my case, uh -huh. the, the superlative will be biggest. The biggest. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but remember, when you use superlatives, you're not comparing anymore, right? Cuando usamos un adjetivo normal, estamos en una oración estándar. Cuando usamos comparativo, por lo general, hay dos o más cosas siendo comparadas. Luego, con el superlativo, como es el más, más de ese adjetivo, ya no estamos comparando. Estamos diciendo que ese es el top, right? That's why we use the definite article, that. Vamos a escuchar a Wendy, please. Okay. My father is the oldest of my home. Okay. I am the tallest of my home. Very good, Wendy. Correct. Anna, please. She has the most beautiful preserved rose. Okay. okay. This town is the oldest I know. Perfect. <laughs> They're correct, Anna. Thank you. Let me hear... Um, Olga, let me hear your sentences, please.
Can you hear us, Olga? Are you there? Uh, teacher, uh -huh. I then, didn't do it yet. Oh my God, it's two sentences with superlatives, Olga. <laughs> do them right now, please. We're gonna give you time. Um, Tatiana, please, your sentences. Uh, <gasps> Why people, what are you doing? <laughs> Teacher, I tell, I tell care, take care of my nephew. So that's oh, why no. I'm trying to, to be at class and- You're having a party, Tatiana. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I have a question, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, and your nephew is like, it's not my fault. <laughs> yes. Go when, ahead, okay. When I was thinking about Einstein, I want to use the word smart like the like the superlative, but the smartest. If a smarter, a smarter and the smartest. The smartest. Uh -huh. You can say the smartest, the but smart. then if you uh -huh, the smart the smartest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Thank you. Maria that's, Elena, they, uh -huh. go that's ahead. Why, that's why I use the, the most brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's a good, that's a good workaround. Es una buena alternativa, a good workaround. And that's the point when you learn English. De eso se trata que ustedes hablen inglés. Que si no te acordas cómo se dice una cosa, pero tenés otra, otra versión, como decirlo, right? That's the point, guys. Very good. Um, Maria Elena, do you have your sentences? Um, yes, um, mm -hmm. your dog ran the fastest of any dog in the race. Okay. My dog is the youngest of his brothers. Very good. Hey, I'm happy to see you, Maria Elena, <laughs> in the class again. <laughs> Teacher, All right. Yes. Can I can uh, I can say, for example, my nephew is the most curious. Curious. Sing it most. My nephew is the cutest. The cutest. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Yes. Or you can say your nephew is the quiet, the most quiet. <laughs> the most quiet. He's very quiet. <laughs> no, he's quiet right now, but he's always <laughs> asking for, for his dad. And <laughs> oh, no, you're like, no. no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Now we're gonna move to the next scenario, right? When there is only one in that context. This, actually, this scenario is similar to the first one, right? Like there is only one, but it's general. And this one is the same. There is only one, maybe it's not general, but everybody knows it, or a lot of people knows it, right? For example, that church, that car the beach right so in those scenarios you can use that that article then right and then right now you're going to make a sentence actually you're going to make two sentences total of no, two examples a total of four sentences porque cada uno de sus ejemplos tiene que llevar dos oraciones okay la primera donde mencionen el, el subject y la segunda donde ocupen the article para referirse al software, right? En vez de repetir. Um, for example, aquí dice, a young man got a nasty shot. En la segunda oración está hablando del mismo hombre, pero ya no lo repite, no dice the young, ya no dice a young man, solo dice the man, refiriéndose al mismo hombre de acá, right? So, y la idea le da continuidad, okay? A young man got a nasty shot when he tried to rob a jewelry shop in Richmond. The man used a heavy hammer to smash the windows in the shop, right? So we're going to make two examples like that. Van a hacer dos ejemplos de esos, en total son cuatro oraciones. Cada ejemplo va a llevar una oración donde mencionan el nombre propio y en la segunda donde ocupan el artículo da para referirse, okay? For example, I'm going to give you my scenario, right? Last week, I went to a new doctor. Last week, I went to a new doctor. 
and he told me that I needed to take vitamins. The doctor also told me that I needed to eat better. Okay. La primera oración. Last week, I went to a new doctor. Okay. Ahí termina mi oración. La nueva oración sería, the doctor told me to drink vitamins. All right. So you're going to do two times that. Va a ser dos ejemplos así, cada uno con dos oraciones. Uno donde ocupen a y las otras donde ya se refieran a ese mismo, pero con el artículo de. Right? I'm going to give you five minutes for this one because it's going to be four cents. Miss, I have one. Okay, let's hear it. A member of my family got a sick. The doctor tell that need to be in the house for three days. Mm, you used it correctly. Sí lo usó correctamente, pero no es este escenario. Porque primero dijo a member of my family. Y la idea ah, es que en la siguiente oración dijera, se refiriera a esa misma. De la misma, uh -huh. de la misma persona. Uh -huh. Ah, Ajá. ok. Yes. Pero sí la hizo correcta en el sentido de que ocupó de para referirse al doctor. Como en general, sí se ocupa de definir article para doctors. Ok. okay. So that one is good, please. <laughs> Jorge, please. Uh, Einstein discovered the relativity theory. The physician, the physician led the to physicist. the world. The physicist led to the world a lot of theories. Very good, correct. Si se fijaron, Jorge dijo, Einstein, you said Einstein, right? Yes. Okay, he started Einstein, right? Y luego para referirse a él mismo, lo llamó con un artículo definido, the physicist, right? It's talking about the same person, all right? Do you have the other one, Henry? Yes. Michael Jordan had a lot of abilities. The player changed the play. All right, very good. Ana Raquel. Uh, El Salvador is famous for its typical dish, the pupusas. Also, the country eats it, it's its national flower. <laughs> Very good, Anna. That's correct. Uh, my grandparents' house is located in Ilovasco. The house is old and small. Very good. Notice how Anna mentioned my grandparents' house. Y luego en la siguiente dijo the house, hablando de eso mismo. Very good, Anna. You got it. Thank you. 
Who else? ¿Quién más ya tiene sus oraciones? Veamos. Let's see. Who else already finished the sentence? I'm going to give you two more minutes. Le voy a dar hasta las 45 para que terminen los demás. But you have to give at least one of the sentences. Manuel, please, go ahead. Uh, one pilot has a hard work to plane in the airport. The pilot used his experience to fly. Perfect. Uh -huh. A chef cook my food in the restaurant. The chef is a if good in his job. Perfect. No, it's very good. That's a good sentence. All right, let's see who else has their ones already. Time has passed. Let me see. I yeah. don't know if it's okay, but I... Let's I, hear them. <laughs> okay, a new singer wrote a song. The song is very romantic at the end. Perfect. Uh -huh. That one was correct, Tatiana. Very good. Thank you. Okay, and let's see, Claudia, do you have, have your that. sentences already? Yeah, uh, I have one teacher. Okay, let me hear it, please. Uh, a boy fell down in the park yesterday. The kid was crying all the afternoon. <laughs> Perfect, that's a good sentence, yes. That's exactly how you can use them. So yes, every time you start talking about a subject in a sentence and you create more sentences, about the same subject, you don't need to repeat it with the article a, right? Or the or the proper noun. You can just use the article the to refer to that person to the same subject, right? And you can other use ad, other adjectives to, to describe it, right? For example, Jorge said Einstein and then said the physicist to talk about him. Claudia said a kid, um, a child or a boy, right? And then she said the kid in the right same sentence same subject said in different words right so you can use our definite article that in that scenario as well okay then for musical instruments or for services or systems right so that's that's basically how you use um the definite article there when we're talking level like um beginners level right now we're talking intermediate level all right and it says, who wants to read this part, please? Cool. We can also use the defined article with adjectives like, like rich, poor, elderly, and um, employee to talk about groups of people. Life can be very hard for the poor. I think the rich should pay more taxes. She works for a group to help the disabled. Mm -hmm. Disable. Disable. All right. So it says we use the definite articles with adjectives. Not all the adjectives, but with some of them, right? 
for example, specifically the ones that you can talk about large groups, right? The rich people, right? The poor people. So you know that in those scenarios, you can use the article that at the beginning, right? And now we can use it with names. This part, let's, let's read it, please. I need a volunteer for this one. And you have this one and then countries. So I'm gonna need, yeah. Geographical features, hotels. I'm gonna need two volunteers. So Wendy and Olga. Wendy, you are going to read from the beginning, the definite articles with names until the geographical features, okay? And then Olga, you are going to read newspapers until the end of this part, okay? Wendy, please begin. Okay. <laughs> the the, the finished article with names. We do not normally use the definitive art, article with names. William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Paris is Paris is the capital of France. France. Iran is in Asia. Okay. But we do use the definitive article with countries whose, whose names include words like kingdom, state, or republic. The, the United Kingdom, the kingdom of Bhutan. Mm -hmm. The United States, the People Republic of China, uh, countries which have plural nouns as their names. The Netherlands, the Netherlands, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Philippines. Geographical features such as mountain ranges, group of islands, rivers, seas, oceans, and oceans. Oceans, sorry, uh -huh. oceans and canals, canals. The Himalayas, the Canaries, the Atlantic, the Amazon. The Amazon. Amazon, the Amazon, sorry, the Amazon, the Pan Panama Canal. All right, thank you, Wendy. Okay, these are other scenarios where you will always use or not use the definite article, the. For example, when you talk about names, when you mention names, okay, first names, proper names, no voy a decir the William Shakespeare, right? Mm -mm, es decir, William Shakespeare. No voy a decir the Paris, capital of the friends. Mm -mm. Siempre que ocupen nombres propios, no vamos a ocupar el artículo definitivo de, ¿ok? Para nombres propios, no ocupamos el artículo definitivo, ¿ok? Ni nombres de países propios en algunos escenarios. Si lo ocupamos el artículo de para países exclusivamente países que sus nombres lleven las palabras reino, estados o república. ¿Ok? Países como Francia no llevan ninguna de esas palabras, entonces no le voy a poner artículo definido. ¿Ok? Eh, El Salvador ya lleva su propio artículo definido incluido. No voy a decir de El Salvador. Uh -uh. ¿Right? A menos que sea un país que lleva kingdom, states o republic, ya no le voy a agregar el artículo. Ahora bien, países como the United Kingdom, razones obvias, lleva kingdom, sí lo dejo. ¿Ok? The United States, por llevar esa palabra states, sí va a llevar el artículo. Y para lo que diga república. ¿Ok? The People's Republic of China. ¿Ok? En dos escenarios de países, si le ponemos el definite article de, ¿ok? O países que sus nombres sean plural. Por ejemplo, the Netherlands, the Philippines. In that case, we use it, ¿ok? 
And then geographical features. The Himalayas, estamos hablando de montañas, plural, the Himalayas. The Canaries, the islands, right? So in those scenarios, usted sabe que sí o sí va a agregar definite article. Y para los nombres de los periódicos, right? In the ones in English, those ones, okay? Also for famous buildings, todo lo que sea arte famoso, por lo general lleva el definite article that. Porque es como algo general que todos conocemos. Y para organizaciones. All right. Um, where was? Eso lo tocaba Olga. Newspapers, organizations. Va a leer desde acá, Olga. Okay. Olga. Hotels. Hotels. Hotels, pubs, and restaurants. Uh -huh. The Ritz, the Ritz Hotel. The King's Hill, the Deja Vu, but not that we do not use the, the definite article in the name of the hotel or restaurant is the name of the owner. Brown's, Brown Hotel, Morel's, Morel Restaurant, uh, Families. The Obamas, the Jackson. Thank you, Olga. Okay, so for organizations, you know that you will always use the article the, right? The United Nations, the Siemens Union, okay? And then hotels, pubs, and restaurants. Again, si son lugares como famosos hoteles, bares, restaurantes que son bien famosos, que todo el mundo conoce, Puedo utilizar el artículo definitivo de para referirme a eso. The Ritz, the Ritz Hotel, the King's Head, that's the name of a bar, the Deja Vu, that's the name of a restaurant, right? And then we have, it says, la única excepción a la regla es si son nombres de, si el nombre del restaurante es el nombre del propietario, okay? Por ejemplo, el apellido de ese señor es Brown, so Brown's. Brown's Hotel, I know I put the Brown's Hotel, not necessary, okay? And then for families, I can use the article the, para referirme a las familias, okay? To any family in particular, right? Questions or doubts until this part? Yes, no? Okay, in that case, we're gonna go to the student's manual. Yeah, okay. Tell me if you can see the screen already, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so we have the first question. Do you think the development of virtual reality will play an important role in the future of e-commerce? Yes, no, why? Give examples. You're going to discuss this question in groups and you're going to come up with a solid answer. Okay, we're going to pretend that this is a work meeting. Okay, Estamos, vamos a tener una reunión de trabajo. Vamos a decidir si comenzamos a incorporar virtual reality en nuestras ventas, nuestra compañía, sí o no. Así que todos los equipos van a brindar su opinión, right? Do you think the development of virtual reality will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? Yes, no, why or why not? Okay. Each group has to come up with a solid solution, with a solid answer, right? No importa si positiva o negativa, pero tiene que ser una respuesta bien basada, bien informada, okay? ¿Por qué dicen que sí? ¿Por qué dicen que no? Okay, should we do it? Should we not? ¿Lo deberíamos hacer o no? Okay, the groups are open. The groups are open right now, and I'm going to give you guys 10 minutes to discuss this topic. Ya pueden entrar a las apps. Tienen 10 minutos para discutir esa y dar una respuesta sólida.
Hello, teacher. Yes. I'm driving, teacher. I live oh, no. very late of my work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move Claudia with Nelson then. Thank you. La, ¿Dónde está la, la pregunta? Dice, do you think the development of the virtual reality will play an important role in the future for the commercial? Ok. Hey guys, pasa a ver si necesitan ayuda. Hello, teachers. Hi, do you need help? Eh, estamos viendo qué vamos a hacer porque en, yo he tenido como me ha estado sacando y me ha estado oyendo como <ríe> como cortadito ah, okay. estado, en qué página y ah, qué okay. era exactamente lo que vamos a básicamente hacer básicamente van a contestar la pregunta que acaba de leer Nelson el, 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 como el escenario es que estamos en una reunión de trabajo y se les está preguntando a cada equipo su, su opinión para decidir si vamos a meternos a virtual reality o no, a desarrollar eso o no. Así que tienen que dar una decisión. Hay que poner el, el por qué, ¿verdad? Cualquiera sí. de las dos, ¿por qué? Ah, Ajá. Sí. Tiene que ser una, una respuesta bien informada de por qué están opinando eso. Ok, I'll see you in eight minutes.
All right, now that we're back, let's answer the question but for each team, all right? So we're going to begin with, um, let me share the screen. Oh, wait, before we do that, I'm going to take attendance. Bear with me, please. Just a moment. Friday. Today is what? Friday the 7th, right? So we go with Ana Raquel. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana said she's in a meeting. Jorge Humberto. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you, Juan de Dios. Present, Tisha. Thank you, Manuel Antonio. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Concepción. Present, Tisha, sorry. Thank you, Manuel. María Concepción. María Elena. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario Ernesto. Nelson Gavarrete. Present Miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Thank you, Silvia Zuleima. <laughs> Tatiana Michel. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Christian Natalie. Present. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go to the students manual. And remember, you have to give your opinion so the company can decide if we start investing money in developing virtual reality for the company or not. So, and why, right? So let's begin, please. Room number two. We have Christian and Olga Marlene. Okay, uh, we consider that yes, <laughs> because uh, the virtual reality is a computer simulation of spaces uh, where people can interact as if they were really there, really there. So that for that reason uh, is a good point for, for the e-commerce uh, increase the sales. And the main characteristic is that all the objects or the spaces in general have a real appearance. And I think the customer uh, will will be will want to to get the product because they consider that they, they uh, prove of, of them. I don't know. We. Yes, yeah, that's a that's a good answer. That that's an answer that would be very helpful in a scenario like this. Thank you. Let's go with room number three. We have Juan Carlos, uh, Manuel, and Tatiana. Teacher, we were reading, we were reading about the uh, virtual reality. Mm -hmm. uh, and we think uh, this is offers a more immersive experience and better product demonstration. Uh, we think uh, virtual reality will allow you uh, will allow you to explore the product in three D. So I think this is this is very important because you you will uh, you will know the product. Even if you can go to the to the to the place or to the shop, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be better. So that's why I, we think is is important. And Manuel is going to talk about an example of that. Okay. Yes, uh, teacher. Uh, about uh, real, virtual reality. Uh, I'm going to give one example uh, about the importance to 
to use this type uh, in, in e-commerce. Uh, for example, using a VR headset in your brick and mortar store can be beneficial in several ways. Maybe you have products with a lot of different configuration. Uh, a VR headset could provide a great way for shoppers to see the possibilities without having to store them all in your showroom. Uh, in 2017, Audis used the Oculus Rift headset to provide buyers the ability to view their dream car in 3D, then customize every aspect from the paint color to the body kit and engine in a way that much more interactive than simply selecting new grace from a list on a computer screen. That's all, teacher. That's a great, great example, guys. Thank you. You gave a very informed answer as well, right? Um, very good. Thank you. That was a nice example. I liked it a lot. Let's go with room number four right now. We have Claudia, um, Maria Elena, and Nelson Gavarret, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, Nelson, comienzo yo. Estoy bien. Comienzo yo entonces. Okay. And just my opinion. Yes, in my opinion, this uh, plays an important role because we the development that is uh, taking place in the deliver of a product that are about online. The customer, the customer does not live is a residency. It is a can be both in the commercial, supermarket, etc. It has a it is it's a has has a very important and development for the client in the future it will have a better development and more opportunities. It's a commerce a commerce a continuous to be to to be say there is advance uh, that high in point for car payments. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. Uh, what well, we was was thinking that the pandemic has to uh, the pandemic crisis has forced many small business to resist the decade old traditional business models or face closing permanent permanently. New and existing technologies are thrust to the forefront of every business toolkit and forward-looking business are addressing talent questions that arise from this new digital business skill. I think that pandemic um, forced all model of business um, um, how do you say? Otherwise. Otherwise. Uh -huh. Otherwise, um, maybe in, here in El Salvador, we, we will be stuck. Still. Yeah, we will be stuck. That is correct. <laughs> Thank you, Nelson and Claudia. That was a good, that was a good answer. Thank you. And, Let's go. Yeah. And other point of view, mm -hmm. uh, always do great computer generate environments that surround users. So they feel like they like on a different world or reality. They are typically uh, required a certain hardware to function. Also, some of your initiative can be experienced using a smartphone or computer. But I think uh, for a many reasons, for a many, many reasons, uh, traditional business and e-commerce will coexist for a long time. And, exactly. Mm -hmm. and the business uh, needed to create um, ambos. <laughs> <laughs> both. Uh, all both um, typic, uh, types of environments. Both types of environments, correct. They have to they have to interact eventually, right? They to have it together in the businesses. Very good. Thank you. Room number four. Now we're going to hear room number six, Jorge and Wendy, please. 
In my opinion, the virtual reality is very important, but it's necessary to continue with all forms of commerce, commerce for the elderly who do not know how to use technology. Mm -hmm. Jorge, okay, other teacher. opinion? Uh, we think the answer for that question is yes. The virtual reality is the future of e-commerce because this kind of model of business for buy or sell will be easier even for people who don't know to use platforms. Uh, also, uh, you can see the product in real time and 3D. In addition, will help you to avoid buy things that doesn't like you. Very good. Both answers are correct. And they, they join together to give a strong opinion. Very good, Jorge and Wendy, thank you. And we're going to hear last, uh, Ana Raquel and Norma Carolina. Okay, teach. Um, yes, because uh, uh, the reality virtual uh, with e-commerce e facilitates uh, the people's uh, daily activities and saves uh, time. Uh, it is also uh, not necessary to leave the house to make a purchase uh, with uh, uh, the, uh, the virtual reality. That's uh, right. Also, is is friendly and and it is easier to compare uh, the details and the prices of, of products uh, on the same uh, the same platform with. Uh, virtual reality. Correct. That's right, Anna. Thank you. Norma? Okay. The virtual reality and the e-commerce includes a wide variety of product, options, and service for the customer. Also, the whole process becomes automated when you are trying to sell products on an e-commerce platform. Moreover, uh, e-commerce gives a sense of safety to newcomers as a result customer has likely to come back, uh, back again after making the first purchase. Um, teacher, I'm not sure uh, that some electronic games is already used uh, recently uh, an actor uh, he fractured games playing he was too realistic, the, the play that he fell in the open space uh, fractured. You know. Wow, I had never heard of that. But that's an interesting point of view, Norma. Thank you. Thank you for the example, ladies. Very good job. Guys, you're giving informed opinions. Very good. Thank you. So we're going to continue with exercise number two. And it says, Jose and Tito, are talking about their customer experience in a new store. Okay, we're going to read their conversation and we're going we're going to take turns as we always do. We're going to do three rounds. Okay, so for the first round, I'm going to need someone for Jose and one for Tito. For here, you can be Jose and Claudia. You can read Tito for the first round. For the second round, Cristia, you can be Jose and Tatiana. You can be Tito. Please. Okay, let's read. Uh, hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it is awesome. The augment really told the staff prepare was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, picture and streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free I will download. Round number two. Thank you, Jose and Claudia. Round number two. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The augmented really tour the staff prepared was incredible. 
Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musicians, pictures, and streaming from their latest live concerts. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album download. Download. Downloads. <laughs> Downloads, thank you. And for the last round, we need two more people. Wendy, you are going to read Jose. And I need one more person to read Tito, please. Let's see. Hey, how are you doing? Um, give, me a, give me a minute, Wendy. We need somebody else to read Tito. <laughs> we need another person to read Tito. One more volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Manuel, please. You're going to read Tito. Wendy, begin. Okay. Hey, how you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes. It's, it's awesome. The moment they really took the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the code of the city to get the information of the musician pictures and streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free album downloads. Very good. Thank you everyone who participated. So based on the conversation, we're gonna check, right? Check the technology. Well, not in the conversation, this is per word. This is gonna be in couples, right? Check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving customers' experience at retail stores, right? Retail stores, tiendas que venden desde una pieza hasta más, right? And then discuss the questions below, okay? How fast is technology being implemented in retail stores from our country, from El Salvador? What are some key tech trends you are currently seeing in the stores from your locality? Okay, we're gonna go back to the main, to the breakout rooms. Vamos a entrar a las salas y van a hacer este ejercicio entre ustedes. Dice, check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving the experience of customers in the stores, okay? Cualquiera de esas que ustedes crean que va a jugar un rol importante en mejorar la experiencia de los clientes en las tiendas, la chequean y dicen por qué. La siguiente parte, ustedes van a contestar esas dos preguntas en su grupo, okay? How fast is technology being implemented in retail stores here in El Salvador, right? And then what are some key trends you're currently seeing in the stores from your locality, okay? So we're gonna give you 10 minutes for that. You're gonna work in the same breakout rooms, all right? Yeah, so it's a pair, it's in parejas, en grupo, Wendy. So we, we gotta do it like that. So we're gonna go to the rooms and you will have 10 minutes to develop this exercise, please. You can enter right now. Teacher, I couldn't to, to enter. Okay, let me check. Usted estaba in room three, verdad? Yes. Lo voy a mover al dos, pero no acepté todavía, Manuel. Ya lo voy a avisar. ¿Sí? Ahora sí, en el tres, Manuel.
Okay, now that we're back, let me just check. Were you able to complete the exercise or do you need a few more minutes, guys? We are able. Perfect. Please, uh, please, a few more minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Everybody needs a few more minutes. Do we agree? Yes, yeah. Okay, you'll have five more minutes. You can go back to the rooms right now, guys. Thank you. They are open now. Mm -hmm.
Okay, we're all back to the main session. We're going to start with the exercise number three. So let's see room number two, please. We have Cristia and Olga Marlene. Okay, teacher. We confirm um, about the question number one. Please, um, the answer is virtual reality. Okay. And, and about the question number two, we consider in our countries, the technology is less than in other countries. So in our country, the economy of the most families is not enough to consider by a device with advanced, advanced technologies because the salary the salaries are low in other countries too the technology is more advanced in in a rise with first hair mm -hmm. and for the second question well for the third question what are some key tech trends you're currently seeing in the stars from your locality locality uh, we think that uh, it's not it's not many technology in this country but uh, for example we have mcdonald's in mcdonald's you have one of the option that the first question and for us is the self-serve kiosk mm -hmm. uh, because you you find an ice cream and you can select what you want it in the screen and, and pay with QR code or pay with your credit card. Um, and that's all that I see in this country because <laughs> I, I don't see what, what more because I don't know because as, as, as Olga says, the salary is not enough, but and that's the reason that the technology is, is not, it's not advanced in this country, I think. Okay, that's a good point of view. That's an interesting point of view, actually. Thank you, ladies. Let's go with room number three now. We have um, Manuel and Tatiana, please. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, for the, for the, the important role we think is the self-serve kiosk kiosk okay because uh, now we have many or we have several uh, apps we can ask for food and we can order without going to the restaurant so that is very important because we uh, before or years ago we can do that so that is important because we save uh, money and time Mm -hmm. uh, Manuel, if you want, we you can uh, talk about the okay. Uh, uh, what are, uh, how fast is technology being implemented in retail store from your country? Uh, I I see I have seen uh, in uh, for example in different situation when I when I have need uh, when I wanted to to buy uh, any product in the smallest uh, stores we can find for example uh, QR QR codes uh, to uh, to select the product or mm -hmm. in the in my cell phone, for example, when I I visit the apps, I I find uh, offers that in the in the restaurant they they have they have not. Uh, that's why uh, this is uh, the technology implement in the retail store uh, in our country. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, teacher. And also, I was telling to Manuel, uh, maybe 
uh, for this country maybe is kind of slow uh, the advance or, or the technology but the the people is trained because I was telling to Manuel uh, my mom has a, a entrepreneurship mm -hmm. but it's not easily obviously but it's not a, it's not a big a, a big company company but she accept uh, she has a, a credit card by mm -hmm. she has a, a a little device and she mm -hmm. controls that device by her cell phone so uh, she accept credit card that's so really I, cool back in the yeah. day many years ago if you were in entrepreneurship you could only accept uh, cash and if you okay. didn't have cash, you could not buy there, right? The fact that you're accepting um, credit cards right now with a small device from, that you can handle from your cell phone, um, that tells me that it's advancing, right? We are advancing, just maybe not as fast as other countries, right? But yes, you're right, Tatiana and Manuel. Very good example. Thank you guys for your answer. Let's okay. go with room number four right now. We have Claudia and Maria Elena and Nelson Gavarret. Yes. Hello. Hi. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's a server just. Okay. Uh, new small business uh, product. Uh, with emails. Uh, I've been to say a product listing. Listing in the restaurant and sell service jobs. This uh, technology is a uh, main implemented. All right. And uh, the black technology trans is, uh, example, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, uh, or OLX, etc. All right. Thank you, Nelson. Marielena, Claudia? Yes. And letter A, um, how fast is technology being implemented for retailers a store from our country? Um, we believe the traditional purchase in our country will continue to be must used uh, and will co coexist with the online shopping practice and other uh, virtual commerce. Okay, uh, but how fast do you think is, but how do you, how fast do you think technology is coming to the businesses in El Salvador? It's low. <laughs> All right, that's a good point of view. In my opinion, I think here in El Salvador, we are running with the technology. And all the business need to be, uh, um, how do you say, um, up to date? Uh -huh. or just update with the technology because technology offers uh, a reduce of costs because when you have a, an app or WhatsApp, for WhatsApp, uh, the retailer can have a chatbot. Mm -hmm. and and they answer your questions and they feel and the customer feels a connection because they have all the attention for one person i exactly. think that very good thank you room number four good job with the answers let's hear room number six right now we have jorge and wendy please okay in retail store from my country is slow because not all people have smartphone and some that have, they don't know how to use them. And okay. another other question, uh, they, they use social media or app or smartphone, tablet and portable computer, but in companies have not many technology because the people do not use app or technology. The traditional okay. form so, of so, okay so you're saying that the companies 
are not using technology because the people don't need technology or they don't know how to use yeah. it, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Other opinion. Uh, in my opinion, teacher, for the first part of the exercise, I consider is self-serve kiosk the restaurant in the restaurants. Mm -hmm. And and the second part uh, in the first question, I consider in our country the technology is implemented so slowly because we need to resolve other issues like a country, yeah. for example, hungry economy, etc. Mm -hmm. Safety. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And in the next question, uh, consider the technology is, is, is growing, but not at the velocity that other countries. Mm -hmm. But for, for example, uh, the, the past weekend, I went to the Los Naranjos and the, the waitress taught, tell us to, for the menu, you can scan the Q, QR uh -huh. to, to see the menu. That is a good, a good thing to, yeah. to use the, and to know the, the menu. Yeah, it shows that they are they are advancing. It's not advancing fast, but it's advancing. <laughs> yes, and there are many smarter devices that mm -hmm. you can use in other, in other stuff. Correct. Good job. Thank you, room number six, for your opinions. And room number seven, Anna and Norma, please. Okay. Um, our group analyzed the different uh, items, and everyone can have an important role depending on the business that is dedicated. For example, 3D border scanning. For example, for example, is beauty salon. You can choose and hair could just be seen in on a screen. Anna? Oh, okay. I can show okay, Norma. Okay, uh, about the question A. Uh, we are, uh, our uh, answer is in our country, the implementation will be slower than in other countries. And about the question B, uh, our answer uh, is 3D printing. Uh, we can see them in big enterprises and university projects. Uh, we show you in this chat, uh, links about about examples in our uh, one uh, one link is about in our country and the second link is in other country. All right. Oh, like the glasses thing, right? It's a link about a three D body scanner, the scanner or eyes. Mm -hmm. The other example is, is uh, 3D pin printing uh, with a, a university project uh, in the US. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Group number seven, that was perfect. That was a great example of how some technology is being implemented. And sometimes we don't even know because we don't visit those pages or those uh, stores, right? But they are using it slowly, but they are incorporating those that technology. Very good, ladies. Thank you, everyone, for participating. We're going to take attendance one more time before we leave. So be, please be ready. Ana Raquel? Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio? Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria? Present, teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth? Jose Humberto? Present, teacher. Thank you. Oh, it's Jorge Humberto. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Thank you. Juan de Dios. Manuel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. 
Present. Thank you, Mario Ernesto. Nelson Gabarrete. Present, Miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Olga Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia Suleima. Present, teacher. Thank you, Tatiana Michel. Present. Thank you, Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Thank you, and Christian Natalie. Present. All right. Um, this is going to be the last class for this week. Remember, you have two more classes pending for next week, Monday and Tuesday, y terminan el módulo. So go, go to sleep, rest, recharge batteries. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you, teachers. Take Thank care. you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Have a good weekend. Thank you, you as well.